Hello and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Uh, I'm Faintly Saintly and if you joined me last time we were just getting ready to expand the store, put on a staff member and open a storage room. And uh, you'll notice that this is already done. And this is because it's finally happened to me. I have recorded an episode uh, without actually recording it. So I'm just sitting here talking to myself like an absolute loon. Um, and the last in-game day or two have been a complete waste. I did it all by myself with the help of uh, this young fella here. So anyway, this is the work in progress new version of the store. We have our little storage space down here. Um, unfortunately, buying storage space didn't open this door for whatever reason. And uh, I've got some new shelving and a new register, obviously. Um, so we're looking to expand. I did take out a bit of a small loan to get all this happening quickly, which is fine. And the next goal is to unlock the next license. So we get more items to stock and then potentially put on another cashier. Um, you'll also hear there's a bit of background music now. I've just put on some generic commu uh, YouTube music, which, you know, is questionable quality or, or at least suitability for the content, but I figured that is better than uh, white noise radio silence when I'm not actively talking. So hopefully that helps a little bit. So what I'm doing to start with is just buy a bit of everything to stock the shelves. So I've got a few boxes of tea. Do I need them? Yes and some flour. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to stop the shelves, see how much money I've got left, and then decide whether that's time for another staff member or to expand the types of produce I sell or even expand the size of the store, which as you can see, I've done a bit of rearranging just to see what would fit. I've already got one new shelf in. I'm just hoping that a fourth one will fit nicely alongside it. But yeah, an expansion is probably on the cards because it's getting very tight in here, as you can see. Let's make get everything nice and full again. Yeah, a little, little bit annoyed at myself. I paused the stream just to get the music up and running and then carried on talking without having unpaused it. So, yeah, a little bit frustrating, but uh, I knew that would happen. Oh, every, every episode I record, I think, oh, this is going to happen to me. <laughs> it just finally did. But hey, the good news for you is that, um, you know, you sort of jumped in a time machine, skipped a couple of days. And you can see where the store is at. We've got $570 left. Is that enough to be confident in? The license is 400 and then I've got 170 to buy the new stock. I don't think that's wise. I'm gonna buy some pasta and some cereal. And uh, I haven't got all the stock yet, have I? Have some eggs, milk, tea, more pasta, more cereal. Just want to get everything nice and full. So yeah, the, I'm a bit disappointed with how the storage room works. That door is not open, so I don't know whether I need to expand this door or the storage room. And these shelves, put something on them. You can't easily tell what that product actually is. So you definitely need to come up with a bit of a system. Maybe have the storage room shelves uh, reflect your store shelves, so you always sort of know where you're looking for things. My other concern is...
how quickly this job is just going to turn into stocking shelves and doing nothing else because the only staff you can hire are cashiers. Anyway, that is what it is. I think we're probably right to start. I am curious. I do want to buy another shelf. I'll need one anyway. It won't be a complete waste, but I'm really curious to see whether this is going to fit. No, it's not. What does the store extension look like? $750. Ouch. These will fit, won't they? There you go. Anyway, we'll open up. Get some customers through. Get some cash flow happening. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I think we'll need to expand the shop. And I could have the shelves back to back. But I just think from a perspective of sitting here and seeing, okay, that shelf's empty. Need to restock that. I'd rather be able to just look at them front on. Whereas if I had the classic aisles of products, then um, we lose that visibility. So yeah, if you haven't met him, this is uh, Jerry. He's my new starter. He's a little bit slow. Not very good with customers. They don't like him. Um, he certainly takes his time, but he never feels pressured, never feels rushed. You know, he's got a cool head. He just uh, does it all at his own pace. And he sits there like a robot and the customers just keep flowing through. So, warm welcome to Jerry here, part of the team. Great to have him. And look at the sheer speed on this man. He's not concerned. This lady's late for a meeting. He doesn't care. He's got all day. But it is nice to have a bit of help. As you can see, the customers love him. But they're all, they'd rather wait in a line over here than go over there. Or this shelf doesn't fit. I'm just trying to work out the best uh, approach now. Put the water fridge over here and then sort of have this coming off this corner, maybe. Just don't know. I think I'm definitely going to need to expand this door. At least to get to a point where I'm happy with it. See, they'd rather ring this bell for an empty register. Which is a bit sad. A bit annoying, actually. I'm just going to do a run through, try and just keep stock levels up. Running to this, I think it's a bug. 
where I can't actually put stuff items down again. Just frustrating. Yeah, I might need another cashier just so this stops happening. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. 31, thank you. Two dollars change. At least the money's flowing, like we're getting, it's busy, so. Cash flow is good. Which is great, means I can keep funding my uh, brain schemes over here. You're right with you. What else do we have? Uh, past. Out of pasta. You guys need to stop annoying me so I can restock these shells. Pasta, coffee, sugar, oil, cheese. I think I remembered everything. Yeah, I definitely need another. I got two cheeses. I don't think I meant to, but it worked out. Um, what was I saying? I need, I need definitely another uh, cashier because these shelves are just getting emptied. And that's even with everyone being like double stacked. So it's nearly nine o'clock. Man loves his cereal. Take out another loan. It's going to be dangerous because then all of a sudden I've got two loan repayments and two staff wages to pay. I still need to uh, get stuck on the shelves. I see nine o'clock rush here. Okay, will that be all? 35.50, thank you. Oh, they're still coming in. So lighting in here is abysmal. When I expanded, I took a couple of lights, put them over there. I can at least see the shelves, and there's just one little dingy light over here, over there, cash is. It's mood lighting, it sets the mood nicely. Let's end that day. Alright, so still making a bit of profit despite all the new expenses. Um, price of eggs has gone up to 430, so I'm just going to pop that up to 4. Okay, what are we going to do? $750 to expand, $400 for a new license. Or I can get a new hire. No, I can't. Can't even do that yet. 
Gotta pay my bills before I forget. Um, what do I do then? Maybe nothing today. Just gonna restock everything. I suppose since um like since I'm not going to be getting that new range of products immediately. I do risk making a mess of myself later. I think I'm just going to fill those extra shells with the overflow. By that I mean just empty the box into it. I don't see it causing too many headaches for me, as long as people buy it. I'm sure they will. Of course, I've got no backup stock to replenish with, but... Okay. I don't think I need tea. Before I buy that, I'm just going to check my storage. I'm sure I had a couple of boxes of it already. Yeah. So milk, eggs. Got six hundred ninety-five dollars. Sugar. I still have no flour. Okay, yeah, sugar and flour. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll have the cash to stock something new. Still don't know how I'm going to present it. Can this sort of go? That's not too bad, is it? Looks a bit silly. I can still reach everything. So what I was thinking is then just popping the shelf. Ah, oh, no, you can't overlap that. Annoying. That's still reachable. buys any water. Did you already have that water or did you just grab it then? I 
suppose we could move the registers back a little bit. Maybe the answer is to have those jutting out in like aisles. Just really rather see what's on them. Pure speed is a machine. Outstanding. Question is, we folks, bear my stories are going to go this way or that way? Uh, I get the feeling last time I did it, it went this way. Like into the building next door. Which is less ideal. Faster again. stock oil at the stage. I want them to use this up. Same as coffee, same as bread and flour. So it's really uh, tea and pasta I'll focus on at the moment. Tea and pasta. I've already got tea, don't I? Uh, Master up. Maybe I need to extend my shelves so that uh, every item has more than just two shelves. Just to cut down on constant restocking. It might be something for when the shop is a lot bigger though. for you. $17 change. There we go, and it's 5 o'clock. Not a decent amount of money. I'm certainly profiting still. Extension 750. 750 or 400 for the license, but that requires shelving, which requires space. Really wish I could put another cashier on, actually. serving. Oh, nope, this is the... Oh no, it's not 9 o'clock yet. So it's time for the rush. Yeah, we're looking flowers get a bit low. This is exactly why I want to keep my shelves facing the registers because then I can just at a glance say, yep, that was low. Eggs are low. Whereas if they're all aisles, I lose that.
I'll have a quick play at nine when we close. So wait for this last little rush to get through the shop and then have a bit of a play. Would like to use this free eye also, this free register. No, you wanna wait in line. More customers. I need to turn the light off. Get out. Get out. Didn't work. Alright, before I end it. What are we going to do here? Can this fit? No, we can't. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Just a bit harder to see, isn't it? End the day. Milk and pasta down. Text boxes are a bit awkward. Fine. I think I'm going to pay that and my bills. I'm going to buy an extension. Is that dumb? Might be dumb, but it's dumb. Whoa, what is going on here? That's not what I... <laughs> not what I expected. Oh. Okay, that's not... Ideal, is it? Is this going to work? It. Why would it do that? <laughs> Why would it do that? Um, actually, if I can... Get you out of there. fit two shelves and they're flush, I'll be happy. Of course I can't. Oh, why would they do this? Oh, they do this to me. Can't even fit them in. Oh. Okay. What if... Just pop that out of the way. I wonder if you put this fridge here where it will cop the heat of the morning sun and spoil all the products. Okay, that's not 
too bad, right? That's kind of bad. Oh, you're joking. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> I'm not happy with this at all. Um, right, can I box this up? Just stay. No. No. Just stay there. What am I thinking? If I turn this into a register. Work from there. It work, does it because the door's there? No, the door well the door's not functional, is it? Okay. Okay. And do we need two registers? Probably, yeah, actually. Right, the door doesn't block shelves, which is good to know. It kind of blocks shelves. Kind of. There's no reason you can't be at the door now. Did this solve any problems? Oh, I don't think it did. <laughs> don't think it solved anything at all. Wonderful. So I'm sitting here, I can see all the shelves. I'm here in order. I can keep some stock here as well. Hmm. I don't know that I'll ever be happy with that, especially not the way they've uh, um, made the expansion just take a chunk out of the wall. But anyway. That might be an issue for the next day, so I'm going to actually finish stocking these shelves and then I might leave it there. Once again, I'm Faintly Saintly and this is Supermarket Simulator. Thanks again for joining me. If you did like what you saw, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you up to date when new videos drop, which at the moment is just about every day. 
Uh, if you have any feedback or game suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I would appreciate it and I will get back to you as best I can. And uh, I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you.